Kill Kyle. Hey! Kill Kyle. Kill Kyle. How did you know about my password? Anyway, hey, everybody, this is Between the Rolls. No, that's not Between the Rolls. <laughs> it's one of those shows. So. <laughs> Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc., the cred campaign, Cthulhu Rises, Everyone Dies. Yeah. I am the lovable, adorable DM who has a broken chair, so... On occasion, you're going to see me do those motions as I try and straighten my chair out. Um, but yeah, it's Thursday night. We're going to have some fun. Oh, I'm going to kill some PCs and yeah. drive you insane. You already did it. Uh-oh. But I'm doing it of your own violation, and that's what I appreciate. So uh, I guess let's go around the table and introduce people. Uh, Bran, uh, let's start with you, DJ. Um, who are you? What's your character? And what horrible things do I have in store for them? Go! Hello, <laughs> I am DJ. I am playing Bran, the Way of the Mercy Monk. And you're already doing horrible things to my arm. And I still don't know what's triggering it, to be honest. <laughs> I actually feel like I have to go back and listen to every episode and like nitpick <laughs> every action I've done. Just to see when you have done things to my arm. (laughs) Oh, the next time it happens, it's not going to be your arm. Anyway, uh, let's move on to uh, someone who can't go back and rewatch episodes because they are constantly forgetting what happens in sessions. Ernie, why don't you introduce us to your character (laughs) and uh, tell us a little bit about him. (laughs) Yeah, so uh, my name's Ernest and I'm playing Riley, the uh, annoying note-taking warlock. And uh, I think in the last episode, I scared the shit out of half the party by uh, inciting a fight, even though it was a very easy enemy. Uh, I want to remind everyone it was an easy enemy and no one died. So uh, that's where we picked this up. (laughs) Kyle did a fantastic job. Yeah. Presenting it as way more. Any GM should take notes about about that. The best part about it is when a PC in their subclass really does the work for you, honestly. Uh, Speaking of that PC, Carol, why don't you introduce your character? Hi, everyone. And tonight, being Halloween week, I decided to show up as Anja. So I've got got pointy ears that are hiding underneath my headset. And so, but yes, I'm Anja Yeager. Crazy. Thanks a lot, Ernie. Uh, afraid of something. I would like to say real quick, uh, this is a tabletop RPG. This is a game. If you are feeling uh, phobias or insanities, no, we are uh, uh, expressing them in a way that is not necessarily true to form, but attempts to make it a little fun. If you do or suffer from any of these uh, uh, psychoses, uh, call your doctor and seek help. Continue on, Anja, as you make fun of people who have phobias and awful things. Well, you know, I was going to say, I mean, I've got, I've got, you know, I've got real life. I'm trying to think of what I have a phobia of. Probably me, loud noises, but that's maybe not a phobia. (laughs) Loud noises. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, yeah, but. Carol, what are your phobias again? (laughs) So anyways, like, well, we'll get back to the intro. Anyways, uh, so I said, I'm Anja Yeager. Um, a half elven ranger and uh yeah she's nuts well no, she's not nuts it's interesting no actually to put a game point here <laughs> look carol very... i don't want to offend people anyway no, tell us no, about no, 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 so listen, listen, listen. no the interesting thing i when i read because i actually went and looked up the an entry on the phobias in this game is it really says it's just a, it's a way to stretch your role play legs it's you're not supposed to break your characters. Um, and I really like that actually. So I'm going to roll with it. Um, and also I didn't do my usual. I am a longtime gamer, occasional GM and a, uh, what am I? I'm a commission, commission mini painter. And sometimes I'm um, between the roles. 
All right, that's me, Carol. That's you. Okay, she's she's done, guys. Yeah, I'm done. Jacob, uh, it's finally your turn after that hour <laughs> and a half diatribe. Oh, Jesus! From Anja. <laughs> Why don't you introduce your character? I haven't done anything to him yet, yes. but we're working on it slowly but surely. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, no, my name is Jacob. Um, I'm still pretty newish at this. Um, I am playing Merrick Mistmeadow, a halfling rogue. Um, so far, the worst thing that's happened to me is I fell down a very long hole and or a very deep hole and hit a lot of ledges on the way down. Um, but well, luckily, I get, it I, wasn't an ugly hole. <laughs> no, no. But I do get the feeling that you have much more on the plate for me, <laughs> judging by where we left off last time, if I recall. Gosh, where were you guys left off, we recall? Well, before we even start that, I think I actually have to do this feel. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy some really awesome swag, we have the Threadless Swear. Bran, what am I forgetting already? The new pictures. There's new pictures? Yes! There oh, is. Are they no, I don't think tonight? I don't know if you forgot. Did you know there were new pictures? Yeah, of course I knew there were new pictures. There's a new but one you didn't let me finish character. my spiel, and I will get to this spiel here in just a second, guys. Calm down, calm down. Uh, you can click on the link below to buy some awesome cred stuff. Maybe we'll get those pictures on like a little, ooh, like the, what was that weird square thing where it had all the different colors, and we'll just put a different character in each one. Oh, boy, that'd be fun. Frank, get on that. Stop <laughs> drinking your beer and get to work. Uh <laughs> Next, if you want to listen to our podcast, but you don't have the time to listen to those, there is also another link below. Click on that, and it'll take you to a wonderful little podcast app where you can listen to that. And we update our podcasts so frequently. There's no waiting a week or waiting two weeks, uh, unlike some lame loser shows that are also on Twitch this very night. Um, <laughs> not calling anyone wow. out. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors Monday. who are uh, so, so much better than any other sponsors we could have. Pirate Dog Dice for when you're rolling right crap. Pirate Dog Dice. Get one of their dice. <laughs> Make sure you fill out in the slot below whether you are a DM or a player. Don't cheat because they become very special dice otherwise. And if your games stink, may I suggest Adventure Sense? Are you going to traipse through a library anytime soon? I know some players who will. And uh, they don't have funny. a caverns one, do they? Or lava tube? They need to get on that. We should have a lava bit of tube. Sulfur. Uh, lava tube would be bones. a good one. Lava tube would be a really good one. If you're watching, odd fish. It smells like rotten eggs. Oh, Jesus. Be almost as good as Dang it, Ernie. <laughs> Oh, uh, if I were a terrible person, I would read that word for word. Anyway, uh, Adventure <laughs> Sense for bringing the smell into the game. Adventure Sense. Uh, they also have the Shine Project. Uh, the one that is out is currently for writing books. However, you can take it over and switch it to an RPG Sense. But the wonderful news is that they are actually working on their RPG Shine system. Uh, and... So far, I'm loving everything I see from it. You know, it really asks the questions that you forget to ask yourself. And trust me, because there's what you know, and there's what you don't know, and there's what you don't know you don't know. And then there's what you don't know you know, and you know you don't know you know. You don't, don't. Um... What? How to RPG with your cat. They had a Kickstarter. It's filled. But I'm sure there's a way to picture that later on down the road. And finally, uh, if you enjoy the horrible things I do to these players, or perhaps you just want to talk to these players yourself, hit us up on our Discord channel. The one thing I did not yet mention. Finally, things that start with D, we'd like to thank the wonderful artist D. <laughs> yeah, we see Jacob over there. He's got that grin on his face. Looks terrible, so terrible good. person. How could you? Uh, <laughs> She worked so hard to get that picture of your character up there, as well as uh, updating a few other characters' uh, pictures. Uh, so stay tuned on the Twitch. You'll see it pop up here and there. And I'm sure they're getting posted somewhere uh, uh, on the Twitterverse. Okay, gosh. I hope so. Yeah. 
Now that I spent a whole five minutes talking about that, let me read this lovely message that Riley sent to me uh, verbatim. So it can next half an hour. Oh, wait, what's that at the end? This is a huge milestone. Yeah, yeah, this is a huge milestone. <laughs> so uh, last week, uh, we had the players uh, continuing on in a maze of caverns. They went up, down, side, and left. And they encountered a creature wholly strange. It looked somewhat human, uh, but had characters of an ooze scales. And then it floated through walls and um, people. It also floated through people. Halflings are people, right? I think halflings. I, don't, I listen to too much Randy Newman and the... Just me? Just me. All yeah, right. I, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. It didn't oh. flow through my throat, though. It, it, it sure it was pretty real when it tried to strangle me. <laughs> <laughs> the party managed to hide from it uh, uh, and their first very encounter on it, Spoiler. studying it. Uh, and they realized that uh, as they followed its trail, that both its trail and the ghoul's trail uh, that came from the scary household. Uh, that is S C E R R I, not scary. Woo! It is Halloween. I forgot. I was going to do something special, but it, eh, never mind. Anyway, they continue following along, and unfortunately, this thing was taking a similar path, and so they managed to find their way out of the maze. Unfortunately, it appeared to have led directly to the lair of this creature. Now, unfortunately, this party was being quite sneaky. And with no lights, the most observant people in this party who were super observant didn't notice that, oh yeah, if you go this way, you can avoid that whole encounter entirely. However, when they got into that cavern, that lair, they found a room that had been sealed off from some cavens. Was it perhaps the cavens that happened earlier or cavens before you even got down into the earth? Who knows? But it was strangely clean, and uh, Anja and Riley snuck up on this creature as it was appearing to interact with something on a pedestal. Riley, being the ever curious, uh, decided to take a closer look, and not just pure obsession got the better of him, and he risked his entire party just to lay his hands on this stone tablet there. Uh, sending him reeling off into a different version of the same place while his party had to distract this creature from ending his life. Uh, Doing a great job of it and uh, having studied it earlier, you guys made quick work of a very, very difficult monster. (laughs) (laughs) CR1, folks. Oh, maybe eh, nah. nah, you guys don't need magic items. It's fine. You guys can handle anything. We did good. You did good. You did good. Uh, You guys took a short rest. Uh, However, the uh, feelings of exhaustion are starting to creep in. It certainly is getting later in the day, um, but unable to really find a good safe place to rest in this uh, dark cavern full of just absolute horrors uh, you decide to press on and that is where we will begin tonight's show you ever notice whenever you start leaning like this your head goes out of the camera and no one can see you anymore and ah that's that's why you got to watch on twitch for those small little moments um let's see it was anja merrick Riley and Bran, or was Riley in the rear? Uh, actually, I don't think that was right. I want to say, wasn't Merrick? Weren't you? Wait, I was no, in the rear. You were in the rear. Okay. Okay. I think it was. Yeah, me. I think it was me, Merrick, because he's mapping it. Think so. Uh, Riley, actually, kind of moving around. I do have to ask an important question, uh, Riley. What? What session did you forget? 15 15 and so that uh, was the session where uh we started off 
with the magistrate and commander Corwell uh, coming into the stockade demanding, hey, why is everyone dead? Mm. Uh, what's going on? Mm. And Bran ran off to his leaky cauldron and oh had a God. long chat with his uh, with his stepbrother. And uh, you're gonna forget that that you're gonna yeah forget yeah. This. Oh I, shoot! Well, the thing is that, that most of that episode <laughs> wasn't with me. <laughs> yeah. So, but you're still gonna forget that important little fact. Oh well. Uh. And then the episode kind of ends with not much beyond that because the okay. next episode is when we finally meet up with um, what's his face who gets his axe taken away from him? Lothar? Lothar. 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 Captain Lothar. Former Captain Lothar. So, so I, do, remember I, do, that. I do remember the task at hand at least. I Darn, do remember we why so we are close. in these tunnels. <laughs> I, I did make sure of that. <laughs> I forgot. We're, we're pressing on because we're still missing people that I really don't think are alive. And I think it's going to be really bad when it, whenever we find them. But our task is to confirm that they're dead or bring them back alive, hopefully. Yeah. See, yeah. see Riley? It worked out that I had uh, some decent role play that one because we didn't lose it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> good point. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. See? Role play is good. <laughs> Sometimes to kill time. All right. So you guys uh, managed to uh, take this turn. You know, you are now falling back onto the ghoul's track again. And as you start going forward, you begin to hear growling. And it's certainly coming from ahead of you. These out outlier tunnels there, they kind of start disappearing at this point. It starts becoming this a uh, uh, more clear walkway um, still not actually shaped stone it's still mostly natural the ground is smoothed out a little bit there um, and the growling comes from ahead of you and what would you like to do? What sort of growling? Can we tell it all? Mm. Anything about it? From just hearing the growling? From just hearing the growling, uh, I will take hmm, probably a nature check uh, from you, Anja. Hey, there we go. We actually start with a decent roll. Uh, that's an 18. 18. Um, it's definitely not a bear, not a lion. What about a tiger? Oh. Not tiger. Oh no lions, tigers, or bears. Oh my. Oh my. Uh, Is it a bear crab? You knew that's where that was going. <laughs> I know, but I, I'm amused myself with my own jokes sometimes. <laughs> uh, uh, it is a large creature. Um, you can discern two different, uh, two different growls. Uh, coming from ahead of you. Um, and honestly, as you're uh, kind of forward up there a little bit, you're noticing that this tunnel is shrinking down to, to the point where you are probably either going to, you're probably going to have to crawl on all fours. Ah. I'm going to try to do that with my weapons out because, I mean, I hear growling. Sure. <laughs> probably not good. I mean, you also have a smaller individual who is less. Uh... Do you want to go find out what the growling is, Merrick? Also, <laughs> you, you do have members in the party like Bran who can fight without weapons. Well, no, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm going to get in there anyways. The All concern right. I see is it's, someone seeing. It's yeah, not is about... it lit? It still looks like it's pitch black. You guys appear to be the only source of light in here. What? So it should probably be either Riley or Anja, so they can see. I'll go first. I vote Anja. <laughs> just because I'm excited about it? <laughs> You're like, maybe that's no, not No, actually, idea. that's a good point. <laughs> After the fact, I'm going to get strangled because you friggin' 
Yeah, I'm going first. All right. Sorry. Sorry. You, you did what you did, and I get it as a player, but Andre may not quite be so forgiving. <laughs> So I'm going to create crawl. If I have to crawl, I'll crawl. All right. Are you being stealthy about this? Or are you just, of course I am. Uh, quick as fast as you can. <laughs> no. I'm going to try to be stealthy. Ah, actually, I am stealthy. That is 16 plus 4. So that's 20. 20. Let's see. The one roll that... Yeah, I'll say that now and I'll curse it. The one roll that seems to actually work out decently. <laughs> Most now, of anyway, so you begin crawling forward. You get down at your knees and your hands for a little bit, and again, it starts to squeeze in a little bit tighter. At one point, you kind of have to crawl with just one arm ahead of you, trying to pull yourself along. Hey, do I see any sign of ghouls, like tracks or scratching, or like anything was dragged through here? Because I mean. Yeah, I'd say you can see some drag marks through. Here. Any any like pieces of clothing that might have got ripped off? Now you see a little bit of blood here and there. Just a little though. Just a little. Okay, I can deal with just a little. Right, pause just for a second. Keep going through. Yeah. And you eventually, it kind of opens up suddenly. And you find yourself in a, a large cavern once again, stalagmites, stalactites, um, torn pieces of cloth, bones, very small bones, like finger bones or something like that here mm -hmm. and there. And there is a, a stench, <sighs> real gamey. And it is a very, very familiar smell to you at this point. Not a very, very familiar smell. Is it blood? But it looks like you are at the site of a ghast nest again. Can I stand up before I get into that chamber? If I got to get into the chamber. Can before I have I... a place to kind of crouch there and then you can kind of stand up? Okay. And I'm still going as quietly as I can. Okay. Yep. Sneaking forward. And sure enough, one on top of the other in a very sporting manner. Oh, Jesus. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Our two gas passed out. Passed out? Asleep. What else is in this room? Chamber. It is your typical nest. It does look like there is a walkway actually through here where stuff has been kind of shifted off to either side. But this looks like a place where two monsters are getting it on and getting fed every once in a while. Do I see corpses of townsfolk like the two we're looking for that's what corpses i'm really is a very strong word <laughs> you see a lot of bloody cloth though. more like refuse <laughs> yeah th this nest um it certainly was not as fresh as the one that you had found when it was made from your crewmates uh Instead of, you know, just having this, uh, uh, these bodies kind of hanging there, um, it looks like there's places where, you know, you could hang a body or mount a nice head here or there. Um, the cloth, the bones, the decaying, the shit has just kind of been piled into this nesting area where these two creatures are. We're getting it on. Um, probably best to dispatch them, folks. I will. i sort of. I'll sort of signal back this too. I'll, I'll whisper. They're sleeping. Sneak by or dispatch them. What do you guys think? And we hear her. Who's second in line? 
I mean, I'll go back. Fine, I'll crawl back to you guys if you're not right behind me. Yeah, so about you can hear 15 me. Fifteen good feet before you're able to crawl back up again. Um. So you sneak back out there. You start tell them what you've seen. Yeah. What are you guys thinking? Dispatch him or. Did you see that there was only two in there or was there more? That's all I saw. <laughs> I was not asked to make a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm probably, I'm going to assume it's just the two and I didn't see anything. I mean, I didn't see any bodies either. So. So do you want to dispatch him or do you want to try to sneak by him? <laughs> I saw her walk was away. there any other exit to the room to sneak by to? Was there any other exit? Was a pathway going? Yeah, there was. Yeah, there was a walkway that. Let us plan on sneaking by, but if if things become necessary, let us yes. dispatch ready. these creatures. So here's the thing. I don't feel comfortable necessarily leaving enemies behind us while there's potentially enemies going to be ahead of us as well. Anja, did you see anything in there? I only Cold saw break rule. a bloody cloth. So you did not the see walkway. creatures themselves, though? And the two creatures. No, I saw the two creatures. You saw the two creatures? Yeah. Uh, they were <clears throat> They were sporting, apparently. I didn't realize they do that sort of thing because they really can't procreate. But eh. they can procreate. They're they living. Can procreate. <laughs> they are living creatures. Oh wait, that's right. These aren't technically. This is, undead. Yeah, this is Cthulhu. Are, I keep gas, forgetting which means they're right. living. Keep forgetting these yeah. are not undead, which is sucky. Um. Whoa, that's right. Now I understand why. I was like, I almost looked at Brand and said. I'm surprised you want to leave them, but they're not undead, so... It's not that I want to leave them. To be honest, I find them as an abomination on those that should have passed. But... Let us I see mean, what we can do first. I mean, I, said, uh, I know that both, both your points are valid. All right, I, well, I personally don't feel comfortable sneaking past them because... I don't want to be in a situation where, like I said, they could be behind us. And if there's a scuffle that we run into ahead of us, they may be attracted to the sound and we're just trapped between two groups of enemies. I don't think it's smart to sneak past. The only problem with that is if we attack them, make noise, it may prep others for our rival. And their advantage in that area if they are prepped, may be greater than we can handle. Those if, they, are both, if others come both back, points. That's it why I take came them back. time to arrive. Yeah, this is why I came back. Merrick, how about you? What do you, what do you have to say on this? Yeah, I don't know. Was, yeah, the, there's the... I mean, are, do we think that we're sneaky enough to sneak in and out and find whatever we're looking for and get out without combat? Or are we, if, if we're thinking we're probably going to be fighting further deeper in it might be better just to take these two out now and well, at least i guess the thing of it is if we're not sneaky enough then we're going to be fighting them right. so why don't we try to sneak by them and if we start a fight we're ready to take them on and then it just happens i think that is a i think that is <laughs> with fine the, with our dice rolls it's very here. likely we're starting to fight here i would rather get through here without causing say... any more injury to ourselves than anyone else if there are living hostages and they are aware that we're coming by starting a scuffle ahead ahead of time, it could be very bad for the hostages. I know. And yet I think, I think we try to sneak by them, but after hearing everybody's points of view, because, and, and you know what, Riley, your point of view is not a bad point of view. Okay. Normally I don't like to leave them, but there is something to be said about alerting, also, there's a good chance we're not all super stealthy. We get a rock and you're going to get your wish anyways. We'll just be ready for them. So be ready. It's not for my you. wish. It's just uh, I, it's, it's, it's a tactical it's a really, thinking. It's a really good point. And, but the both both 
both points of view are actually really good points of view. I mean, so, I'm, I'm fine either way. I, I don't yeah, really care too that's, much. I was that's just why out. I came back because I'm kind of fine either way too. So now I, I'm interested to hear what Kyle was going to say earlier. Say, um, there is a coup de gras option. Grace, two de coup, coup de gras. One no, is right. coup, coup de grease, and one is coup de grease. So I never remember which one it is. It's there gras. is that option. Two people to two creatures, so one on each. Uh, you attack the creature. If you hit, it's automatically a crit. You have advantage to hit because they are asleep, incapacitated. Um, and what it is going to be is, like I said, automatic crit uh, is going to be a constitution saving throw on their part. If they fail the constitution saving throw uh, uh, by a good amount, they are dead, you're done, you've done your job, you've cleanly dispatched them. Um, if they do not and they succeed by a good amount they're going to get up and fight you. But yeah. there is varying degrees of success and failures. Yeah, I, that's why I was like, I think I like to sneak, trying to sneak past bit because coup de gras, it, it, coup de gras in this is not uh, wholly reliable. I mean, you could also outright just do their hit points and damage and kill them. <coughs> in which case, I'm not even going to give them a save. I um, mean, yeah, Bram. We could, Brand, we, we, we could take him up before they even get up. Bran, and I think you're muted. No, no, no. Uh, it's not because of that. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you're, I do not uh, like the concept of murder. Yeah, I know. I do understand the point. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> This is a so very tough. dangerous situation, but this that is a tough. very immoral act to kill someone unknown without their knowledge, without their ability to defend. All right. Let's. God, this one's really hard. Let's. Hey, Carol, give me a yeah. 100 roll, please. No! No, I do not want to make a T100 roll. Why? Oh, 26. Okay. So it's low. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're talking really quietly for the record. Sure. Of course you are. Yeah. I mean, granted, they could wake up. All no right, one well, rolled for stealth, so it's fine. Well, we're, ta we're not right. moving. We're talking quietly. I'm teasing you, Carol. Go ahead. What are you guys doing? I know. I feel <laughs> kind of skeezy just killing them. Let's try this. I don't know, Merrick, what do you think about this? Yeah. Have you ever killed someone yeah. in cold blood before? <laughs> <laughs> Who hasn't? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, if, if we've got people morally against it, I say we should probably try to sneak by it. Save everyone's okay. conscious. What we can do. That's fair. All right. Let's try. <laughs> let's try to sneak by. And then if they fight, well, it'll be on their heads and not ours. Self-defense. Exactly. All right, let's try to sneaky, sneaky by them. <laughs> All right. Anja, give me that new stealth oh, check. God. Then Merrick. Not as good as the last one, but still not terrible. Uh, that would be a 16. Okay. Merrick. Uh, nine. Ugh. As I said, someone's going to screw right. it up. We're going to fight it. Riley. <coughs> Really need that pass without a trace. I got a 20. 20? Okay. Modified. And Bran. Uh, Bran got a 19. 19. Okay. So you guys begin crawling and then at one point laying down on your bellies. Uh, Merrick, you're really overconfident with you know just how <laughs> Look at them crawling. Kung! Ah, you hit yourself in the head on the way <laughs> through the ship. <laughs> <coughs> and everyone pauses. <laughs> As 
still clear on. You keep going through. And once again, the rest of you enter into this cavern. What are we doing about light sources here? Who had them? I know I did not need one, and I'm at the front. We can take the hooded lantern and put it down to a five foot radius. Okay. So basically, it's like fairly dim, I believe. Uh, it's, uh, it's all dim light. Uh, let me just double check that. I can pocket my rock. Best object. Yep. You can lower the hood, reducing the light to dim light in a five foot radius. So I can't see very far. I can see like five feet in front of me. Okay. Yeah. So you enter into this dark cavern. Uh, Bran, Merrick, it's entirely too dark to see. Uh, Riley, Anja, Anja, you've seen this already. Ernie, you see this similar sight. And you are walking through, and there's two paths to take. One on the left, one on the right. And for Riley and Anja, you can see it looks like maybe some rocks have fallen uh, on the right uh, tavern before. So it looks like another crawl, potentially to a dead end, you don't know. The other one leading out of this room is another squeeze. However, you're not going to crawl. You're going to have to suck in your gut here. Um. Wait. So, what did you say we saw on the right? I mean, which which side? Two pathways. Yeah. One looks like it's been affected by a cave in. Ah. However, you're not sure whether it's completely blocked off, but there is some rubble strewn on the ground. The other way looks like another tight squeeze for the big folks there. Um, either way, have a, like a blood trail, a bloody cloth pieces of cloth, drag marks, anything like that shows which way maybe they went. Survival checks. Merrick, okay. you can help out with that one. Ah, uh, not a good roll. That's only a three on the die. Wait, is he helping? Or do you want to make yeah. a roll? Uh, he can either roll or he can aid. It's whatever you guys like. Yeah, if you if you roll if you aid me, then I get to roll an advantage. So I get to roll a better than a three. <laughs> if you want to make your own check, show her up. You'll probably still get better than a three, <laughs> which is seven in my case. So what I'll do you just, want to? I'll, do? Just, I'll just aid you. I can't see see for crap in here. Oh, okay. All right, come on. Uh, well, that was better. Uh, that is a fourteen. 14. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just almost a little bit too dark to tell. And oh, you're like, Merrick, damn. can you help me? And Merrick, without thinking, as part of his nine stealth check, reaches in to grab that lit rock to shine it out. And you can tell that the path to the right is the one that the bodies take. And Merrick, as you pull out this light source, you get a better look at the room around you. And this is your first time seeing what everyone else here has seen. You see the piled up pieces of crap, the dead bones, uh, uh, the dirty soiled cloth, and you see these two massive creatures, um, almost similar to a satyr, and that they have these uh, shaggy hind quarters, cloven hoofs, um, long matted hair, these extra long arms that look like they could go uh, quadrupedal. And when you get up to their face, uh, there are empty, no eyes. It's just this large mouth. And then when you get up to the skull portion, it's actually an empty brain pan with skin overgrowing it and what looks like if you had just taken a skull and cracked it open scooped out all the sides there Ooh. it kind of has this crown of a broken skull flesh uh, more pronounced on the creature on top of the other one and uh, give me the dread save that uh, these guys have already made previously <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's not what I pictured when you said we you call them guests. So wait, yes. Mer so Merrick's leading this way? 
Or is this, oh, is this the, the two gas we just went by? Mm hmm. Uh, 18. 18. Okay. Yeah. No, oh, okay. that is, I don't know. Do you just get distracted by the fact that they're clearly done the business? Just like, oh, nope, let's cover the light up. <laughs> we don't want to look at that anymore. No. But uh, that moment of light, Anja, gives you the direction you want to try. And yeah. Go. So you said the right. So the right. we'll head right. Okay. And go off through that way. Stealthily. Stealthily. Man, you don't have to roll again. I'll roll it over. Are we all following? I imagine so. You oh, okay. stop. Do you want to go some other way? No, no, no. I, I'm just I'm just wondering because you guys are going on and wanted no. to know if we had to make the same sort of like stealth saves. Well, well, you hands. made the stealth. You made you rolled a twenty. Oh, so Brand we don't have to do that again. Continuing it, yeah. No, okay. Yeah, no. yeah so he's not making this roll again. Yeah. So through um through the right side uh, indeed there are rocks that have fallen down from above but it's kind of one of those duck underneath it every once in a while you have to raise your leg up lift merrick over a particularly large rock i'm going to be picking on you all night merrick that's fine <laughs> good <laughs> uh but you're able to kind of get through and it's maybe about 20 feet of enclosed space before it once again opens up uh, into large space. Um, Riley, you kind of had the concern about enemies behind you. And with what you had seen, it kind of looks like those creatures are trapped in there uh, uh, due to that cave-in. Enough to drag a body through. Um, Although, Anja, with that check, you would notice that the drag marks are underneath any rubble that has fallen onto the ground. Oh, so, the, so there was a cave-in after, like, really recent? Oh, there was something I remember from before where things ca kind of caved in, but I don't think it was here. But if something shook it, maybe it did the same thing here if the ground shook. You get your wish, Riley, and we'll be running from lava. <laughs> uh, if only. Um, so you guys end up into a larger room. Uh, you can hear drips of water. Bran, you don't hear any sounds of any creatures, although there is a slight buzzing going on in the room. Um Anja, Riley, uh, more um, stalactites are dripping water, um, and there just seems to be piles of some soft-looking material kind of over in the distance. Um, and this room continues on. You can kind of go past it. Or you can kind of explore this kind of side room that seems to be going on there. But you don't see any actual creatures. So which section is caved in? The spot behind you that you just kind of came through. Not caved in closed, but caved in squeeze and a tight fit. And those things are so, big. There are two other exits from the Sherm aside from the caved in entrance that we came through. Um, yeah, as you kind of walk into the room a little bit further, you can see um, along that same wall you were, there looks to be an indentation and a way to walk through. And then it looks like ahead, there is a clear walkway and there is one end that is actually caved in as well. Let's, uh, hey, you want to help me again? They were, they were pretty well, Merrick. Yeah. Let's see that. if we can find the path. <laughs> Right. We need to find people, I think, and I'm starting to get tired. So, okay, that's, ooh, that's going to be good. Uh, that's uh, 18, 22. 22. Survival to find the path. Do you pull the lights out? 
I have Merrick help, so I assume so. Okay, yeah. yeah. Merrick brandishing the light. Yep. Uh, and between the two of you, there actually seems to be a good stopping place where it looks like these bodies were dragged um, or being carried and then were thrown down. Uh, and there's kind of this clear area where it's been done. There's certainly bits of dried blood um, and uh, occasional viscera here and there. Oof. And it looks like whatever was going, because there's plenty of footprints around the area where this body was laid. And if you take the time to look up, you see this side room that's over there. Yep. Is full of garbage. There's disgusting clothes like they've been ripped off, torn off, or if they've been covered in blood have just been stashed here. Um, more feces. Um, hair, in some cases, if you look oh, close God. enough. Uh, it looks like they bring the bodies here, remove anything they don't need, and just chuck it over here. Anyone want to go in there? Because I, you, you, I um, will. Anja does not want to go in there. Step in there carefully. I, 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 have, I will too. I have gloves on. I want to look to see if we find any type of objects or evidence of personal effect. Um, whether it be clothing with a name stitched in it, hopefully not their underwear, um, books, <laughs> necklaces, earrings, uh, anything that might identify any of these victims. Brand, this is an island nation. You just got to keep the breeze glowing. There's no underwear in this pile. Don't worry. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> also, uh, Riley cast detect magic just in case. Uh, are we still in the room with the things? No, you are not. We moved. Okay. We, yeah, we moved right. beyond. There was. I just want to make sure, you know, because it's like, oh crap, that's gonna make sense. <laughs> yeah, we we're we're well beyond them. Yeah. No. Um. Uh, read the uh, detect magic. Uh, what it can see through specifically. Uh, for the duration, which is ten minutes, uh, you sense the presence of magic within thirty feet of you. If you sense magic in this way, you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object in the area that bears magic, and you learn its school of magic, if any. The spell can penetrate most barriers, but it is blocked by one foot of stone, one inch of common metal, or a thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood or dirt. Okay, yeah. Uh, you kind of start looking over there, and... This refuse pile is up to your waist, up to Merrick's head in Oof. places. There are fetid pools of water with something floating on top of them. Um, and near the back of the pile, because it's always in the back of the pile, of course, uh, there of course. appears to be a glow. Oh, well, I'm going to slowly, nonchalantly make my way that way. <laughs> uh, and dig through this pile <laughs> totally in a way that won't make Bran upset for desecrating dead things. Uh, I'm not worried about desecrating dead things, but uh, do I notice that he seems intent on a target? Of course not. I it's, totally it's, it's have to more roll a performance point. check. You're going to friggin... Uh, actually, wouldn't it be deception? No, this performance. I'm going performance. No, this isn't Frank running the game. This, well, then either, either Kyle way, deception actually is, makes good choices for Whatever Kyle decides. <laughs> per, uh, he could say you don't notice. I'm just giving That's fine Rand, I don't know why you always need to stop me with my fun. <laughs> Just, just let Riley be Riley. Fucking better. Perception check. Yes, um, I know, Frank. You heard it. That or was a I will shot take fired a right at you. Nature check from Bran. Uh, medicine also works 
as well. Okay. Um, <coughs> go ahead and give me uh, the same thing, Riley. Give me doesn't a matter. Check. I will do a perception check. It's the same as my medicine. Okay. Uh, so perception or nature? Perception or nature. 20 for perception. 20 for perception. Okay. Uh, 15 on perception. <laughs> 15 on perception. Okay. Uh, Both of you notice a buzzing sound, especially as you start Mm. crawling into this thing and it is getting louder. Bran, on top of that, (coughs) yeah, yeah, you said it matched your medicine, so let's go ahead and say this. You see signs of mold. Just (laughs) placed here and there throughout uh, uh, this pile of refuse. Uh, unfortunately, Riley does not see that. Uh-oh. I'm going to stop Riley before he enters anymore. Hold. I, I kind of put my hand o- like in front of him, and I'll be like, hold. There's oh, something uh, going on We're going to say here. this is he's in there for a little bit. Oh, so okay. you're going oh, okay, to either have to be, if you're in there too, you can hold him. But he decided to step in there. Um, Riley, go ahead and give me a D100 roll for me, please. Yes. Oh, so no. what what is uh, good or bad, I mean? In... Bad is 100. <laughs> bad is 100. All right. Maybe. Real bad is it 100. It might just decide bad what is you like step on. 60 or 70. 63. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Actually, 63 is probably not good. Bad is probably 75 or above. Real bad is 100. <laughs> um, as you are stepping through you immediately find yourself in this plume of dust <coughs> as you step into one of these kind of moldy areas and you go Pff. give me a con saving throw please oh, oh no yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, uh, I got this yeah, this is instead of going this, yeah. crazy. You want to go crazy, but instead you're going to 13. God, that's not terrible. Okay. Uh, yeah, no. You just like, oh, <laughs> you turn around. Everyone can just see Riley is just head to foot covered in this red, dusty mold crap. <laughs> I would like to. Is there any chance I might know what this is or something similar because i are heard you gonna the come into the room and inspect it oh, mr no you. dark vision <laughs> are you... i have a light i can see you probably he's got that five foot that... dim light are you within five yeah. feet of me <laughs> you can open up the hood actually the i can uh i can open it up at this point and see yeah i mean you haven't found any bat you haven't found any creatures that are beating the snot out of you so so i got my light out too yeah. yeah. I don't think you walked. Did you walk in, Merrick? No, no. Yeah, so well, he's no, not you're walking back in there, so he's me. back there. Here you go. Your baby, so, your, ba- your baby. Yeah, I'll, I'll kind of like open up the hood to see Riley and you know what's all over him. Uh, he can be looking at my back. I'm still going towards that aura. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's far away. You just see the red on him. Um, you know it's mold. I'm going to need a nature check if you want to try and identify that mold. There. Uh, mm, that's only a 12. Yeah. No, he's far away. You can't tell. And honestly, mold's a dangerous thing. You probably don't want to be messing with that. Riley, uh, you get to where this glowing object is. Um, and it appears to be a sack covered in blood and gore made out of patches of various pieces of cloth. Oh, uh, this is cool. Do I discern the nature of the magic or the school? Uh, give me... Oh, the name. Give me an arcana check. Don't, don't try and get me trying to figure out what the hell a magic item is supposed to be. Oh, like the <laughs> rules for... <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. It is. Something you like can that. see. Do, 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 and you can learn its school of magic, if any. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Just give me the <laughs> arcana check. Okay. Do you want to know what the rules are for that? 19. 
19. That is uh, good. It appears. <laughs> give me half a second here. Kyle, uh, I feel like you're winging it. I love it. Uh, do you? Yeah. Uh, it appears to be a bag with a conjuration um, magic tied to it. Oh, it says basically you can identify magic item during a short rest. Or you can use like the spell identify. All right. Um, Assume it's using Arcana. Cool. Well, I'm going to make a quick glance around to make sure there's no enemies that will attack me when I pick up this bag. And then I'm going to pick up the bag. Okay. Oh no, that's right. We just yeah, actually it's really simple. You just le- you could just play with the item during a short rest and you'll learn it what it what it is at the end. It's I like I like the fa- fact they simplified it. Or if you have identified, you can instantaneously learn it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do the normal inspect it, look for the runes, check it out. Yeah. You know take notes about it to see if I can replicate it later, like the eye patch. And then if it doesn't help me out, I'm just going to give it to someone else. Just like I'm going to give away the eye patch. Actually. Oh, wait, you have the eye patch. I <laughs> still have the eye patch things. because I haven't sure. had sure. a chance to take full notes on it yet. No, I, I think also it helps you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I have yeah. like dark vision of like 75 feet and so like 60 yeah. or something. So it, no, it made sense they actually That's got right. It. Yeah. It increases it. Yeah. Yeah. So... Or gives dark vision to someone who doesn't have it. Yeah. That's why I wasn't sure if you kept it or you gave it to somebody who doesn't have dark vision. I... Yeah. My goal is to give it to Merrick after uh, oh. I take notes. All right. So wait, what's in this? So you. All right, I guess uh, anything else in there? <laughs> Any uh, corpses that we that they recognize? No. Oh yeah, I totally got off track there. That was uh, me <laughs> oh, not oops. doing my Sorry, job. Guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> Do you see the t- dead townsfolk? Uh yeah, <laughs> after I grab the bag, I'll also look at the refuse pile in more detail. So, at this point, have I found any identification uh, any type of identifying Objects, clothing, whatnot. Uh, yeah, honestly, it's so filthy in here. Um, give me investigation checks, whoever's looking for identifying objects. And let me know if you're actually deciding to step into it. Oh, 22. I'm in it. 22 in it. Yeah. Mm. Give me another D100 roll while Only you're a 10. in it. Only a 10. Okay. And well, I thought I had to wade no? through it since it was like waist high, Merrick head high. Yeah, well, he might decide to go in it. I don't know. <laughs> so I thought I, I was in it. 77. Is that better? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, that's under bad. <laughs> I'm going to have to make up a scale here of bad, bad, bad. Sure. Uh, <laughs> Anja, Merrick, are you searching for identifying remains? Um, I didn't want to go into that room, but uh, don't have to go. There's no real. Oh, I mean, we'll look around here or wherever. You can look at the edge. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, I'll do that. What kind of a check? Investigation. Investigation. Investigating this. Investigating that. Oh, that's who. This new diet apparently is doing pretty good. Twenty-one. Throw it away, throw it away right now. Fuck okay. you. And uh, Merrick, were you going to help him search for stuff? Um, no, I'm, I, I got them here. I'm going to keep watch for okay. any other surprises from the rest Ooh, of the room. Be a perception check while you're at it. Uh, okay. uh, 23. 23. Okay. No, uh, you do not hear. Um, any active noise, although you do hear a buzzing sound. Uh, Riley, you've grabbed your bag, you start looking through, you find a clear space to start uh, uh, kind of walking on to kind of, you know, get out of that crap for a second there. Um, And as you put your weight on it, 
give me a reflex saving throw. All right, what's reflex saving throw? Dex? Dex. I'm sorry, I've been playing Pathfinder Kingmaker that, uh, yeah, no, and I've just, I've been terrible about that. I apologize. Okay, just, just making fair. sure we're, we're saying the same thing here. All right, yeah, dex yeah. saving throw. Not, that is not so really good. Fair. I got a 22 dex save. 22. Yeah, you put your foot on it and you feel it begin to crack and break underneath you, jumping back into the refuse there. Um, and you notice that it's actually this lime lily pad that's been over some of this water that's been just seeping into this filth and you probably avoided a nasty nasty spill and if i were really cruel i'd make you roll another d100 to see if you landed them <laughs> another thing of moss um anja you're searching through and you find a much larger piece of this kind of flowery uh, embroidered uh, dress that you had discovered from the scary household. Shit. But it's not attached. To, it's just a piece of cloth. It's not attached to just a piece of cloth. A corpse. Great. That's not evidence. Is it covered in blood? Yeah, we're pretty sure she's one of them. A lot dead. of things down here are soaked in blood. <laughs> I know. I mean, all right. So I'm gonna. I'm going with that. It's not enough to trigger, but it is enough to totally give me the heebie-jeebies. Like, <sighs> picks up the dress and kind of is shaking a little bit, looking at the blood on it. Afraid of what the hell this this means and what the hell she's going to find at the end of this trail. Bum, bum. I mean, no, I'm not going to give her a dread save. Not for this. I will say, um, and there's no save. I think initially you get a point of dread. Period. Yeah, and yes. then she's back on the insanity saves again. What the hell? Um, do I just keep picking them up? Like you know. Maybe you shouldn't be uh, looking at things so closely. I know, here. right? <laughs> I'm not. I'm trying. She's trying to be careful. That's why she didn't go into this room exactly. But I mean, you know, as long as she tries to avoid any big pools of blood, she'll be okay for now. I will say, your other party members, if they are, you know, kind of paying attention even remotely to you, yeah. I'd say they'd notice something's going on there, especially Bran. Oh, Bran, I think. Bran in fact, already maybe knows. that 10 investigation as you start going through stuff, you see that she finds something and then you notice, oh shit, something's going on there. <laughs> I okay. found her Actually, dress. Bran will go over to her and says, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'll be okay. Here's the dress. I found a piece of dress. Her dress. I look at the I look at the piece of dress, but I kind of ignore it slightly. I need to know if you're okay. Well, we are in a very dangerous situation. If you falter for any reason, it could mean everyone's life. I don't mean to be oh, no fucking pressure there. I don't mean to put pressure so on you. Sorry. This is this is a dangerous situation. If you are not okay, that is fine. I just well, need you... to know if I need to watch your back. More so than normal. Probably. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for letting me know. I'm pretty sure I'm not okay. Then let us try to get through here as quickly as possible. I mean, this room is not... It's awful, but it's not awful in the right awful... It is awful, for sure. Yes. Oh, F-F-A-L. You have but, found evidence of her. Yeah. Uh, how big of a piece of cloth is this? Like most of the dress or just like another rip of the dress? 
Yeah, if we get enough, I can use mending. We can sell it, make some money. No. Salvage this, this operation a little bit. <laughs> no. Yeah. Hey, Merrick, you still got that burned piece of the dress? Awesome, <laughs> thanks. No. Uh, a little mending, it a little touch like of digitation. Right You'll be you. fine. <laughs> uh, it is um, a fairly large piece um, from the uh, upper parts of the dress. You don't see like any of the skirt or anything like that. Does it look like it was just torn off, cut off, or ripped off? Ripped. Yeah, probably when they were dragging it through. Like it was like ripped away from her? Yeah. Okay. What are you trying? Uh, Yeah, no. The, the 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 implication is, does it look like it has tear marks? Like you know, somebody slashed the dress into her body. Does it look like you know somebody just took it off, or you know, a limp body torn away would indicate there was probably struggle, which possibly means she's alive. Stuff. So. Okay. Uh, no, not in that sense. Um, removed without care. With things that also happen to have claws. Okay. That does um, not bode as well. Mm-hmm. No, well, I, I'm not. I think I honest, got that message from all the blood on it. <laughs> I'm not optimistic about their chances of survival. I, I mean, I hope I'm wrong. I really well, hope I ha- I'm wrong. I will look at it say until there is isn't. Empirical evidence. We must consider that there is chance. You're not wrong. But there's a lot of evidence that says they're not alive. I just don't want we to get found my Jeremy hopes alive. Up. We found Jeremy alive. Yeah, we did find Jeremy. Jeremiah? Yeah, sorry, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, you are well, close enough. I mean... You know, Jeremiah. me and Jeremiah have been real close. I've been feeding him sludge. He asked me to call him Jeremy now. <laughs> was he a Jeremiah, bullfrog? Jeremiah, yes, you were correct. Thank you. <laughs> was he a bullfrog? Yes. He is now. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he was a good right. friend of mine. Oh, okay. If we haven't found anything else, then we should probably continue on. Yeah, I mean, okay. so does it suggest the path was... Wait, is there an exit out of here, or are we going to keep going? Two exits. Um, you can you step out of the refuse pile. Okay. Um, Merrick and Riley, give me a D100. <laughs> That's never good. Uh, 82. All right. And Riley. Thank and you're muted. muted. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not ready. All right, let me <laughs> do this. Uh, 79. Wait, seventy-nine and an eighty-two. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's bad. That's bad on the scale of bad to terrible. Sure. <coughs> uh, well, it was for different things, but okay. Uh, Merrick, you hear sounds while you're on watch from the cavern behind you. It appears those things have woken up and uh, you start to hear scratching sounds (laughs) from back that way. Riley, uh, you're walking back through the refuse pile, you know. Uh, Maybe you catch the sounds as well and you start to hurry through. And again, you start walking through and... Hey, um, I don't catch the sounds even though I'm out there with Merrick. Or, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's keeping watch. His D oh, right. uh, hundred is just telling me what's going on in the uh, uh, in these caves in general. Uh, uh, so you guys can tell that the creatures behind you have woken up, and they appear to be uh, trying to find a way out. Um, Riley, give me that con save one more time for me. Uh, my new con save is a fourteen. Okay. Uh, and for funsies, uh, funsies, 
Give me one more D hundred, not from you, Riley, oh. but from the other three. Oh, so, I have to give uh, you a D one hundred. I'm just wondering, but will this make me hallucinate at all? Will this uh, well, make this a little bit more difficult? <laughs> all right. I rolled a twenty-one, so I rolled on the good side okay. of things. Brand. Fifty. I also rolled a 21. Also rolled a 21. <laughs> How did we do that? Yeah, okay. Wow. <laughs> that like never happens. So, you know, uh, you hear these sounds, Merrick, you kind of turn to look behind you. Riley comes stumbling out uh, covered in this red powder. <laughs> and I'm going to ask you now to give me a con save. As you. some of this drifts off into your face, Merrick. I have a, by the way, I'm pulling my weapons and I'm headed sort of towards the sound, but not very far. So I hopefully I'm not near Riley. Hang on one second. Nope, you're good. Okay. So I rolled a natural one, so I want to take <laughs> my lucky tra- lucky trait to try and All right. that. Yeah. Nice. That's a good guy. idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be another time that Riley's gonna cause somebody to friggin' have uh, bad things. Oh, God, that's great. Okay. Uh, you guys are now all out of the refuse. You hear the gas coming from the tunnel that you had just come into this room from, from the cave-in. Um, it is loud. And at several points, you just hear um, kind of this yipping sound uh, injured by one of the creatures. They might be just hurting themselves, trying to get out of there, realizing that they are trapped. Of course, they might be able to break free. Who knows? They're not, they're... Wait, they're too big to go through the passage? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah, they're big. Mm-hmm. Oh, then we're probably fine. <laughs> they can't go. We, wait, do we have to? We didn't have so to crawl. Oh, now we, we didn't have, have to crawl. Potentially unknown enemies ahead of us hearing the yipping sounds behind us. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> what? Yeah, but, Guys, but it, would I do that to you? But, but it also is, you know, the gas making sounds. Not us making sounds. Gas? Or whatever. Gas. Gas. Oh, gas. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Quietly. Not gas. Gas. All right. So um, they may not, you know, they may not think be the wiser because, I mean, they'd be making sounds anyways. I We're being quiet. We can't go back that way, though. So let's I don't continue think- on. Yeah, I don't think that was our intention. We want to keep going because we haven't still haven't found we haven't found the end of this yet. We need to find the end. All right, do we know where to go? Is there you, choices again? Two paths ahead of you. There was a third one, but this one is most certainly caused by a cave in that is making it impassable. Uh, the larger one is directly ahead of you and to your left you see a passage um, Merrick with your cartographer skills and just kind of keeping track of this. There's also noise coming from down that way, but you might surmise this is the other path that led from the gas room. That is also just really narrow and impassable for those creatures, if not for you guys. So we can just... So we're okay. So we so basically there's one way out that there's only one way out, right? Uh, essentially. essentially. One way is just caved in, one way is back the way we came. So we're gonna take the third way. I don't need to make a survival check. <laughs> Thank you, Merrick. <laughs> <coughs> why? This is why we knew you would be very useful on this trip. Can I make a survival check anyways to see if it looks like there's tracks or other creatures here i'll aid you go ahead and roll twice Bam. Okay. yeah i might have do that 
rolls. So, uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20. Uh, with your light kind of helping you out there and Anja, um, there's a point where those bodies went to rest and then they get moved again and they appear to be going, uh, up into the right, which is where that cave in is going. So it looks like you might be going uh, a newer direction, although there are there are uh, footprints in this direction as well, but just not as many. Okay. So we gotta hope, it, I hope yeah. that this one circles back then, if we want to mm-hmm. continue on this trail. Mm-hmm. Back to the uh, trailing line there. I was going to say, I assume we're going. Yes. To the okay. one. We're going to the one, yeah, that continues on. Yeah, now this tunnel is much wider. Uh, uh, and again, those openings uh, along the ceiling and along the sides uh, open back up again. However, um, with that 20, it's kind of clear, you know, which line to follow down. Um, And the air gets warmer, um, damper. Anja, you are, you know, sweating a little bit down here. Um, And you can kind of keep walking for a while. And Bran stops you. From the back of the pack. From the back of the pack. Bran, you notice that there is a bunch of soft earth um, to one side of you. um, That looks like you could potentially dig through it. Um. It kind of looks like a a ghoul hole. However, it doesn't look like it's been dug recently or buried recently. Just kind of this softer, loamy wall that, you know, in just the right light and the fact that you have the tavern, you notice like some little sparkle in the wall. You turn to look at it and you can realize that this is entirely different material than the rest of the caves around you. I will stop everyone in one moment. And I kind of point to the wall and then I will take out my dagger and slowly and I guess as quietly as possible, kind of dig a little bit of it to see how deep it goes in. Mm -hmm. Uh, It is hard to begin with, but once you start getting in there, it kind of gets softer. Um, How far are you trying to dig? Um, I'll go until it feels like it's getting harder or until I'd have to like put my whole body in. Okay. Your whole arm in, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you continue digging. Uh, it got softer after it's kind of that harder, uh, crust layer. Um, and there comes a point where you stick your whole entire arm in and you're not reaching another side yet. Can we tell how like deep we are still? Have we like been going upwards at all? Or can we not tell these catacombs? It's kind of leveled out at this point, but then also that maze section you were in. Man, that <laughs> just the levels going up and down there. I don't I mean this is interesting and, and all and and I do get you know, this is clearly always a path they took somewhere, but Something tells me this is probably not the right way. We're going to be here a long time digging. I think we try to move Very on. Well. You took maybe about two or three minutes just to dig oh. enough to get your arm in. This is not a, a hard so, dig. Once you get outside that I'll, original... I'll so wait, wait. Longer. Actually, if he puts his arm in, does he still feel dirt or is it like a space? He still feels dirt. 
dirt. Yeah, I, I, can, know, uh, I, mean, fine. I can I can help too. I mean, you know, I take out like a short sword and just help. In fact, I could. I can uh, stick my arm in an Eldritch Blast a few times. Uh, you could do that. I would. I, I would. Uh, if he attempts to do that, I advise not because we've already seen cave-ins. Yeah, I could cave. Something. Yeah, like those recent cave-ins. Guys, back there. come on, it's fine. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I know it's kind of tempting, but mm, dig, dig, dig. That dig, was dig, completely dig, sarcastic. Dig. Hey, I was gonna say. Uh, well, I mean, Brand could probably just use his fist and. Just punch up. Just punch it. I, I, I'm not. I'm not doing karate. I'm doing soft touches. Oh, that's true. When I strike, I don't strike hard. I don't break bricks. Well, maybe I do with my I fingers. Sure I don't. You know. don't. <laughs> I could probably with my fingers, but whatever. <laughs> I'll just dig a little bit more. If I need to put like part of my like shoulder and you know try to make a hole, you know make it big enough that I can actually kind of put the upper body in without being covered up by it. Yeah, uh, about five to ten minutes, somewhere in between there, you eventually break to the other side. You do kind of have to step into this hole and actually make, and as you do so, light pours in from out of this hole. Oh, wow. Does it look like sunlight or candlelight? Neither. Magical. It's blue. Lava. Oh. Blue. Bye. I am going to step in and look around. It'll take more to step in and turn around. You still have to finish digging up. I'm just saying you punched a hole at some point and you found a light source is kind of streaming up. All right. I will try you to not take a hear look anything through. from the other side that would um, like, so, oh, what the hell was that? Yeah. You don't hear any of that. I wish to take a peek through the hole. Small hole. You see um, what <laughs> looks to be water. Uh, uh, a um, sorry. What well, looks uh, uh, under underground uh, um, pool of water. And from this pool, there is this light blue glow. And Do I smell anything odd? Other than the kind of fresh dirt smell from having dug out this place, um, it smells uh, pretty nice. It's entirely different. You know where if you were to open up a tomb of a dead guy and you just get this, oh yeah, something's in there. It would just be the exact opposite. You're out on a hot, sweaty day, just nasty smelling, and then you open up the door to a bed, bath, and beyond. And you get that air conditioning and that, ooh, is that strawberries and kiwi? And it's not. It's just shampoo because they don't sell strawberries and kiwi but it's kind of uh, that sense i will continue working it a little bit more make it a little okay. bit bigger to see if i can get a good view inside yep uh, you do so and eventually you see a small cavern there is a waterfall where this beautiful clear water falls into this pool um Oh. That is reflecting this blue uh, light out from underneath it. Um, and it seems almost untouched in quite a long time. I will open it up even more then to be able to get through. And I will let the others know. It seems we have found a hidden <laughs> cavern in here. And I believe there's a waterfall there. <laughs> Riley, Riley, Riley. Always causing trouble, isn't he? Yep. No. Yeah. Start cue you... up the song Radioactive. Radioactive. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it depends. Uh, do you take a drink from the water? Uh, <laughs> you open it up. Magic uh, is And you kind you. of walk through there. 
uh, <coughs> and all of you, yeah, as it opens up even more, as you kind of catch uh, sight of this, it's this absolute serene place. It is a candlelight in pitch blackness. Um, you can kind of walk in there. It's all fresh air. There's no no foul stench coming in there. Maybe a little bit from you guys. But uh, even as you kind of walk in there, there's none of that seems to be actually coming through the hole that you made. And um, I don't think, uh, Jacob, you got the rules. Um, and it's been a while since we've talked about this uh, to the watchers. It's been a while there you since go. I told you how to long rest. You need three things I said. Do we? Oh, Security, yeah. delicious food, or a place of serenity. Do we have delicious? Oh, is it or? Or and? Two of three. I think it's we like, have. well, you know, if you take the time, you can patch up the hole that you made in this wall. Doesn't appear like a lot of creatures pass by there. Um, nice. There is soft, loamy earth on another section there, but that looks like it's also been completely untouched for quite a while. It's almost like the DM is telling you, <laughs> take a you long can take a long rest. rest here if you want. So I will ask I guess, uh, and I will look at the others and to try to determine how close we are to exhaustion. Uh, As your DM, I would probably start making you roll exhaustion if you walk out of this room. Because <laughs> he's I putting see. this here. I believe, I believe there's a plot hook right here. We're supposed to grab, you know. Yes. The in problem is, is we're in Call of Cthulhu land. <laughs> the hooks are often very bad. Yeah. But this one, I think, actually is supposed to be, is actually for our benefit yeah when, when, when you fish saying, up the uh when you fish up the uh amazing looking find and the string attached to it it's because <laughs> the deep ones are fishing for you <laughs> you know what i promised one of you a true answer and i will answer truthfully. one of us yeah whether this is going to be a perfectly fine place for all of you to rest and i'll answer that right now i guess we'll find out completely and utterly honestly yeah so I assume the answer is yes. Never assume. It's up to you. I think I would like to try. I don't know if I can. We will do not take that. We will not take that rest. question. We will, could I, could I, I say, we will anyway. take the hint and probably rest, even though I feel it's against better judgment. But before that, I kind of want to touch this uh, glow and blue pool thingy. <laughs> you do i'm joking i'm joking Come I'm on. With the well, i don't th- i don't do I, I don't it's think all it's right. harmful i will actually check the water to see if it's uh um i think you should actually something that we can drink it is fresh water you could probably refill your canteens you may uh, choose to do so from the waterfall directly if you you know don't so... like the blue glow of the water well, the, I the, water, I mean, it's, the water's probably not glowing. There's something in the water that's glowing. I'll actually ask Merrick, since he would be <laughs> the one that would probably know. Given how, f- I will ask him, given how far we've gone down, how f- long we've traveled, and the fact that we are near a waterfall and fresh water, do you have any possible ideas where we could be? What region of the island? That's a good question. Do, do we do? Is it What's actually fresh us? water? Did we actually yes. check that? Yes, it's fresh water, he said. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Unless, so. does anyone drink from the pond? Uh, I'll I say this. Most, most uh, seawater doesn't come from a waterfall since it's already in the ocean. Yeah, it, it doesn't But fall we're from... underground, which is why. I agree. <laughs> okay. I mean, well, we should be able to tell if it's salty right away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which he already said it's not. If you drink from the blue water, it is salty. Okay. Oh, is it? It is. Merrick, uh, 
this is going to require a check because you've you've had to uh, really you know kind of keep your uh, cartographer skills pretty pretty up there. Um, you can choose either um, intelligence or wisdom, and give me uh, proficiency either way. Um, unless there's a skill you particularly want to use other than cartography. So if you've got that expertise in survival and you're like, yeah, yeah I want to do survival, we can do that. Okay, let's do that. Let's do survival. Okay. I got a seven. Seven. Yeah, no, you check your map. You go and you have no idea. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, you took a little too many twists and turns in the maze there. And, you know, your overlay map of the uh, island seems to have gone missing at some point, whether it fell out of your bag, uh, a ghostly hand took it, or maybe a perfectly flesh and blood hand of someone who likes to take things that have reading material. Who knows? Um, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I mean, that, they yeah. could be true or none of them could be true. You're not sure where on the island you are exactly. You could specify that you might be somewhere on the southern side of the island. Um, for those who know the island the best, um, that would be facing towards the uh, the sea that kind of hosts all the nations as opposed to the exit out where you can explore whatever else the world has itself to offer. Uh, so realistically, all I know is south then. Southish. Southish, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I would actually like to check out the waterfall and see if it's See if it's something we could pass through. In the center of the room, the water kind of pours down through. Do you mean you want to see if you can climb up through the waterfall? Oh, I... Ah, I see. There's no behind necessarily. It's I see. the centerpiece of this room. So it's basically like uh, a hole and water's pouring into it. Essentially, yes. Ah, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's So it's not really a waterfall. It's more like a drain. Fountain. Yeah, I suppose. Well, I mean, water is something. falling from the ceiling into this uh, uh, pool of water. I will check the water coming from the hole above and see if it's salty. It is not salty. Interesting. Um, I'm going to wash off this red powder. That's all over me. You can take a dip. Probably a good idea. Do you want to take a dip or do you just oh want to kind of stick your head in there? I want to stick it. I'm going to take a dip. You. It's just, I'm, yeah, it's fine. I'm going to take I, a dip. I'm thinking all I have on me is my bag, my magic bag, oh, come on. my magic eye patch. This is a great place um, to go skinny dip. My, my stone on, tablet. Man. My stone tablet. It can always be resummoned if something happens to it. <laughs> Come on, go skinny. And dip, uh, damn it. my robe. So it's totally fine. I'm doing it. Okay. Uh, you step into the water and <laughs> you start to sink down a little bit as the weight of your pack starts to carry you down. I mean, like normal. Like normal. Sure. Like he does. Like if you were normally holding on to a stone tablet, how it would sink down. <laughs> yeah. Fine, I'll freaking do. I'll go skinny dipping. Uh, and the bath. water turns green. Wait, what? Just this sickly green color as uh, Riley steps into it. Why does it turn a sickly green color when he steps into it? I was dirty. Make a nature check. Is it? Is it because of the crud that was on him? Uh, hang on. 13 plus nature uh, 16. Uh, it could be multiple things. Whatever is turning this water blue 
he may have just disturbed what I was doing that. Um, although you remember uh, uh, in your days of learning that combining red and blue makes green. No. It doesn't? Oh my God, Is Kyle. <laughs> red and blue makes purple. Oh my pretty God. <laughs> So he turned the water purple. Nope. That's why I was it's like, green. Oh, no, I said green. Green. It's, it's a green. It's a magical world. Oh my God, Kyle. There's no Kyle, recording you gotta go of this. Back to no school. one can prove anything. Oh my God. You gotta go back to school, It's a high man. fantasy. Apparently the Carl Will looks, works differently. Oh yeah, my yeah. God. Obviously. I, mean, I think we're gonna have to the blue over green and there purple are inverted. It's we're gonna fine. have to have a little art uh, lesson, Kyle. Yeah, you just so upset hard. the uh, the uh, the color so person. Mad All now. right, I'm gonna leave, and that's the end Your of the show art tonight. Teacher Good night, everybody. You. <laughs> I'm a musician. I'm not an artist. <laughs> I, I can mean, count to four over and over again. <laughs> I mean, how would? Is I that how many fingers you actually have? I get all the How in the world? Well, all right. So am I still right. thinking? How in the world would these You're still thinking, make but if you okay, take okay. the time to swim up, you can come out of the water. Okay, you are just clean. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we left that on a weird note. Just okay, so, like, yeah, okay, so it makes sense Guys, it's now. great that we can joke about this, but is my character dead yet? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so now... <laughs> It actually makes sense. It's just the red powder. The angry yeah. violet color coming from the pond, which is what I originally said. Why did you say green? green. You're, you're so ridiculous. You so confused me because of that. I'm like, green? I'm like, what else is he carrying on him that would turn it green? Okay, well, I thank just you. figured it was from the uh, uh, overall muck. Yeah, I mean, that could yeah. be. And that could Something surgery. is reacting. That's, 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 the again, weird psychotropic uh, uh, things you got from touching that other how tablet. Big a, yeah. How big a pond is it? You're like, can I go to a place and said, I want to take a bath at this point? Does it have a runoff or anything? If you try not to I don't jump into it. the deep part there where Riley was, and he was sinking for a little bit before he decided to swim back up. Yeah, I'm not going to jump in there. Um, there is a shallow area where you could swim. Um, well, you said basically there's a waterfall curtain, so I'll go by the waterfall curtain and said yes, and I will go actually go skinny dipping because I said I need a bath, I need something right now because I'm just I'm a friggin' wreck. Sure, the growling gets louder. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but you can't hear it. You're in the middle of a waterfall. Without That's right. I'll go weapons. under. The, I'll actually go under the waterfall and let it wash my hair. Sure. This sounds awesome. Do that. It is uh, a wonderful thing. And roll a D4 for me, please. A D4. I was going to say, it's also probably cold yes. as ice. I don't <laughs> unless care. We're in a, unless the lava is nearby. Hmm. You one. lose one level of dread. I could have lost them all, damn it. So now I'm at two. I kind of was hoping. Rand will remove a few of his items of clothing to wash them. Pray tell which ones, Bran. <laughs> Gee. Hood. <coughs> Not the mask, right? One glove. Okay, Michael Jackson. Yeah, Shoes. You, you could just, you know, chop your arm off right now. You don't know about that. <laughs> Carol does. I know how she does it. All right. She's busy getting removing. Oh, I will God also like it. remove like the outer vest. But still pretty much completely covered up. Still pretty except covered. for the one hand. <coughs> uh, I do wear uh, oh, a shoot. cloth over my head. I don't know if anybody's actually looking at Anja, but I just remembered something <laughs> that she never would see. Probably a tattoo or nope. a giant scar, one of the two. Ta tattoo. I'm trying to remember where I, I think I said tramp stamp, but I'm not. No, nah, it's not tramp stamp. It's right between the shoulder blades, right below Both her neck. Of the tramp stamp. On I'm not Brand's doing a tramp arm. stamp. 
on Bran's arm, his hand and his arm is actually pretty badly scarred up. Uh, it looks like most of his fingers have all been broken at one point. Uh, like compound breaks, uh, lacerations, bird marks, uh, possibly some type of skin irritation. <coughs> yeah. Are you jumping into the water or under the waterfall? I am not jumping into the water at all. I am simply just washing some of the clothes and then like tipping it, putting it out to dry. Okay. Get in there, you wash. If you're not actually standing under the waterfall, I'm not going to give you the benefits of any dread loss. Uh, That's fine. You. Um, you can however, join me. I mean, you do have almost instant relief as your arm, uh, you left side there uh, or the right side, whichever we determined. Uh, is instant relief as water just kind of connects with your skin. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I will... <laughs> you know what? No, I'll just wait. I hope you like to. All right. Anything else? I was going like to say... Before? I was going to say, uh, that is actually a really valid point and I didn't think of before I friggin said you went skinny dipping. So if anybody's actually paying attention... Can, How can I not? I know. Ever. So uh, basically, <laughs> right, uh, and I said it's not a tramp stamp, but it's right below her neck, and you see. Uh, well, here's the question, uh, yeah. Rand. You are a fairly honorable person, you know. You, yeah. Would you look at her? She doesn't yeah, seem actually, to give no, a I, I, you might I would not. Her privacy. She, she <laughs> Unless she's really, like walking in front of me, like yeah. across in front of me. No. I am in the. I am standing in the friggin' waterfall, but. Um, honestly, she obviously doesn't give a shit. So, so. uh, Riley, Merrick, or your this is a good question. <laughs> it is a it's sort of a plot point. So, I'm playing with my it, tablet. It's up. It's up to you. Get oh, speed knowledge, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If no one sees it, good. Then no one has to see it. But it's up to you, Merrick. Do you see it? No, probably not. If you're not looking, I'm, uh, I'm too busy setting up camp. Okay, that's fair. Someone so has good sees sense. It. <laughs> God, I can't even get their attention this way. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. Uh, I said I didn't think of a big Dang it, I found the one group of D&D players who don't take advantage of a naked woman in front yep. of Yep. <laughs> uh, no. She's camp a nature sort. Sets so, up very well. Um, the earth is soft. It's not that hard stone. Uh, some green lichen, you know, appears to be like in moss, appears to be growing um, uh, on the ground, and it is comfortable to sleep on. Uh, you break out rations, and as long as there is nothing else, um, I'll say Riley. Oh, I'll get to you in here. Riley, you're working on your tablet and you're trying to access certain parts of it. And it's difficult. It's numbers, it's formulae. And despite the fact of your connection and, you know, just how powerful this tomb is, it doesn't seem to be quite revealing its knowledge to you quite yet. Um, there just seems to be some sort of process going on, excuse me, uh, uh, with your tablet. Um, and you can kind of keep digging forward, and it's just not releasing um, this knowledge to you yet as much as you try. To Bran. Uh, setting up watches. Who's taking first watch? I guess the light really doesn't matter since it's always dark in here. Um, Bran will take the early, like the early or like the latest watch, the early morning watch. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do late night. Okay. First watch. I, I can do first watch. All right. 
Are we only having three or are we doing four? We should probably do four. Okay, right, so it'll be Bran is last. I don't know, Riley. Bran is do you last, want... then Anja. Oh, yeah, sorry. Bran is uh, last. So... Wait, who's first? Merrick. Merrick, Merrick is so first. Merrick, so Riley, Riley would be second. Riley, okay, Anja and Bran. Okay. Uh, you all uh, fall asleep. Merrick, give me your first perception check, please. Uh, 24. 24. Every once in a while, you kind of hear this wail muffled from where uh, the dirt wall is from back the way you came. You think it might be those gas, but it never gets any actual closer. And again, there's this kind of sh- unshaken calmness about the room. It doesn't seem to... It's not as alarming as you would think it would have been had you tried sleeping somewhere else. And your watch uh, ends. You're able to go to sleep. Riley, are you still trying to dig through this tomb of yours, or are you going to actually keep watch? Uh, yeah, I'm going through my tablet. Okay. Uh, Don't forget, you have the item too. Oh, the bag! Ooh, oh, that's oh, right. Well, the bag, the magic bag. We had a short. I mean, we have definitely had a short rest. Because technically, rest. you have two magic items to check out. Yeah, the eye patch in the bag. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm checking them out, but I have an idea I of what the eye patch the does. Eye I mean, patch the bag's you. more interesting. <laughs> Is it the yeah. bag itself that's magic or what's in it that's magic? We'll find out. I can cast detect magic at will. I don't think you even need to. It's just if you play with the item for an hour. It's... Well, I'll know if there's a magic item in the bag and the bag itself, if they're both magical. Wink, wink. Wow. <laughs> I'm just joking. I know, guys. Right? You start That's passing out magic fucker. items. And this is how it is, guys. Yeah. Um, it appears to be the bag itself that is glowing. And as you open it up, um, you see a single ball of uh, scales. So the and bag is magical feeling... or the the ball scales? It appears to be of the same nature. The bag is conjuration. And you feel like if you reach in there and grab this ball and throw it, you'll summon some sort of creature. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Oh. That's good to know. Mm-hmm. I'm, uh, I'm going to keep that handy, actually. That might be good for you. I mean, yeah. uh, if, uh, now is a good people... time to test it out, maybe. No. <laughs> I'm joking. I wouldn't do that. Freaking murder you. <laughs> Go ahead and give me another Arcana check here. Now that you're kind of taking the time to study it, um, give yourself advantage. Oh, it's fine. My first roll was a nat 20 plus 5. Oh, okay. Uh, this is comparable to, you've read about these, as you know, you kind of copy books here and there. Uh, a, a bag of tricks. Oh, cool. But I mean, this one seems a little off. This is Cthulhu. Supposedly, you can, so. you know, bag usually you just filtered. throw in these furry balls and you can summon, you know, bears, giant elk, uh, snakes on occasion. You've never heard of a magic, a bag of tricks with a ratty bag such as this before. And only one item appears to be in it. It seems a little odd. Well, this is going to be fun to play with. Um... Do you want to play with it now? I mean, 
I'm not going to summon whatever's in it right now. But yeah, I guess I'm not keeping watch. Let's go with that. I'm just probably more interested in this. Did we, and you said, didn't we, fi we didn't figure out the eye patch? Wasn't it just? No, we, we did figure out dark, the eye patch. It's just dark vision, right? It's dark vision. And yeah. You are actually of it over your time. Actually, since I do realize that now is not the time to play, like to actually test the bag, I probably will decide to keep watch now. Let's let's go with that. Okay. I don't want to be a complete douchebag of a of a party member. <laughs> yeah, you've already risked their lives. You're just once a partial today. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and roll me that perception check. Just a little bit more difficult having played around with the bag. Oh, that's fine. I, I rolled a 10. Okay. Perfect. Um, you do not hear anything um, around uh, goodness. Usually I just like to uh, keep things. Anja is kind of um, rolling in her bedroll moving uh, around and making noise am i she is what 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 am i dreaming about where am um, i now <laughs> although actually that would imply that i'm actually it's in my bedroll in my body so yeah. i'm not actually traveling do you wake her up on her uh, guard duty do I remember the dream? No dream. I just was rolling you around. Wake up. You are not feeling too hot. Me? Well, no, you're actually feeling quite hot. You are sweating. Wait, who? You. Me? Anja, yes. Do I know why? You are not feeling good. Oh, shit. Yes, I know why. Carol knows why. Well, because the the shit that fell on you when we were in the stockade, or <laughs> more recently, <laughs> the... <laughs> there was that failed fortitude save when we entered here. No. Where the hell was it? Oh, I... Riley's got it down pat. Riley knows what's going on. Is that where? Yeah, that was when your failed con save was. Is when we were at the stockade and we went into the refuse pit. And oh yeah. Shit fell on you. Oh uh, shit. Uh, yeah, I was. Yeah, that's right. I'm waiting for that. Shoot and then, yeah. then I Symptoms. think you got hurt in combat shortly after with the gas, <laughs> which could easily have infected the wound. Oh, do I still see that? I suppose I see that wound. I mean, I think it would have healed up by then. But do I see a wound that looks? That was infected? yesterday. Do I, two do, I see, do I see a wound that looks infected? Uh, indeed, you do have a very sore spot. Uh, where, the, where do we want to put that? On your lower back, and unfortunately, oh, lower back. If your, uh, uh, you know, if your healer wasn't such a noble gentleman, he may have caught that. But uh, apparently, he oh my freaking god! Yep. Although to be fair, he wouldn't have Brand. found any time to really help you out. So you wake up for your oh, watch. and the friggin' you water didn't help me well. there. All right, so mm -hmm. well, enough, I'll make a note. Mm -hmm. And don't press any buttons on your D&D &D Beyond when I tell you your long rest is finished. What? I said don't press any buttons on your D&D &D Beyond uh, until I say so, okay? Oh, yeah. You've no, no, already no, no, clicked no, no. the long rest button. You better remember what your hit points were before. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, no, okay. I, 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 no, because I have another. Technically, I haven't finished it yet, anyways. Good. Because I still I have another sleep you, period. Carol, for yeah, no, things. I haven't finished because the, I, yeah, I have to do one more watch, so I have to sleep. Mm -hmm. But this is, this is, I, I know, I wake up feeling bad, and I, and I feel a sore up, spot. I know this is bad. Achy feelings, yeah. Shit. Well, I'm gonna still try to keep watch. You're going to keep watch. You don't yeah. want to wake up Bran and interrupt his rest? No. Okay. We'll deal with it in the morning. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll 
a perception check, please. <laughs> well, that is par for the friggin' course since I feel terrible. Uh, that's only, that's friggin' terrible. That's only an eight. The splash of water, um, just kind of these shivers. Um, you don't hear anything. You don't see anything. The night, uh, your watch passes uneventfully other than you're sick. Yeah, no dream. <laughs> All right. And you wake up Bran for the final watch. Oh, when I do that, I will mention it to him. You can watch. I'm going back to sleep, but something's wrong with me. Like, um, before she goes to sleep, I will then let me examine you before you go back to bed. It may become worse. Right, so he sits on the, just for point of clarification, it's on my lower part of my back, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so that he doesn't have to see the upper part of my back, which is where the tattoo is. Mm-hmm. So I go, there's definitely a spot on my back that is... I will give her an examination to see what the cause of her illness is or what type of... Uh, medicines I should administer her to make her, to alleviate her symptoms and pain. Medicine check. Oof. 13. 13. That's not great! Um, that's enough. That's... Fuck. She has sewer plague. Some point she was crawling around and... It's not filth fever, huh? Nasty filth. What can I do to help her? I do have the healer's kit. I don't know if that can you assist in the fashion. Provide um, mercy. It's not that far gone. Yeah, I'm not that far gone. I don't feel it's that, not that terrible. Far gone. Um, you can probably take care of the infection that's on her back a little bit. Uh, at least kind of release that pulse. You know, you're going to have to stick her and cut her real good. Mm. Um, and just kind of remove that <laughs> Uh, I will bite down on something. I will, yeah, so we'll get like another strap from like her sword after it's in. cleaned and have her bite down on it. And Actually, probably... you, if you clean it in the water, well, that, well, that uh, we're cleaning it in the water because it's the only way to clean it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is going to be a, you're using a knife. This is a 1d4 to your hit point maximum. What? The reason for that is because he's going to cut it open. Yep. And he's going to have to leave it open and draining. Oh, God, this is So this gross. is going to kind of be in a permanent wound for a little while. So not totally um, a permanent wound. A permanent... Not a totally permanent wound, no. It'll heal up. It'll, it'll be a nice scar. Um, um, great. Uh, wait. After I'm see. done dealing with it, can I use a healing touch to assist her more? You're just going to be providing... The uh, actual operation that you're doing is going to be that bonus that's going to help her uh, later okay. on. Yeah. Oh, right. So my max hit points are reduced by what? Four? Uh, 1d4. Um, one... Let's see first before we start this. Uh, doctor, give me yes. a sleight of hand. Sleight of hand? Sleight of hand. Okay. I think it's appropriate. I don't know. If you want to do medicine what? i mean next well, that would medicine. suck for me because that'll be a six. Oh no a uh, sleight of hand is not my thing yeah i mean it's right what about it's gonna be a botched surgery i love it i mean it's medicine it's medicine. a 10 if it's medicine it's a 10 um roll a d4 And there's no no freaking way to knock me out either. So this is gonna. Hurt. Um, I would like to use some of my own abilities to kind of, um, uh, kind of numb her up, sure. for some of the nerve points to block pain in that area. Does that uh, help? Give me a use of your uh, medicine kit. Okay. And I'm going to skip the part where. We have on just scream out in pain. Well, no, she's going to bite down on something so she doesn't because she do not want to yes. wake everybody up. Yeah. This is, but it I will was be... going to have you roll for it. Now I'm not. Yeah. Um, so it's now, still going to yeah. fucking hurt, though, I imagine. Yeah. I mean, he's numbing the area. 
he's making this as comfortable for you as he, you know, uh, slices deep into you. <laughs> this is pleasant. No. Um, okay. It can be unpleasant. I don't care. It's fine. Yeah, you take the problem. You let some of this infection ooze out. You stuff it <sighs> full to leave it open and make sure that it continues to ooze out. Uh, How many points am I losing from my two. max? Two? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. I don't want two hit points. I want 39. <laughs> okay. Uh, and Anja, at that point, there is some relief in there, and uh, uh, you can uh, finish your rest. Um, and Fran, you've done all you can to really help her at this point, you know, continuing treatment, making sure that bandage gets changed fairly frequently, and making sure it stays clean at that point, because it is an open festering mm -hmm. Well, Not festering, but it isn't. Most, open wood. I would assume that I would probably take some of the uh, basically like leaves and paste to um, kind of plug up the open wound. Uh, to, it, basically, almost like a sealant. On yeah, the, put the on blue the and blue itself. stuff on there. You don't want to seal it because you keep the infection in. What you have done is to kind of stab it and make sure that it can drain out as opposed to kind of... Oh, I see what you're out. talking yeah. about. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I, yeah, it's real pleasant, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I had that sort of happen once in reality, and it is pretty awful. Yeah. Awfully fun? Yeah. No, no, this was awful. Okay. It was a tooth, so... That was real fun. All right. Uh, and Bran, go ahead and make a final perception check for me as the night rounds out. So before, probably about halfway through my watch, I'd like to do something, but uh, I can make the check first if you want. Yeah, let's go for that. Okay. Uh, perception, correct? Mm hmm Jeez, nine. I rolled a two. You're fine, man. It um, I will make sure everyone's asleep. Okay. And then I will kind of go to the opposite side of the falls so that the view would be blurred, as it were. Okay. And then I will actually remove some more of my clothing and dip the other arm into the water. The other arm being your gross fish arm? Yes. Okay. I will that. probably actually, you know, I'll probably actually slip into the water okay. at this point because I'm probably quite filthy and sweaty. All right. You do that. And it is instant relief for that arm in particular. And honestly, it feels great just taking a dip after being in uh, this. Uh, cave for such a long time it, uh, it feels like taking a hot bath at home it's the salt water is just completely welcoming um, as you dip into it and as far as you can tell you get to enjoy a nice bath while everyone's sleeping in private does it look like it's spread further It, for the moment, uh, seems to be about where it was. Okay. Still up on the arm there. And with that, unless there's something else, your long rest is over. Riley, Merrick, uh, Bran, you all receive the benefits of a long rest. Carol, you gain one level of exhaustion. You may. Uh, That's not good. What is that, a condition? Only yes, it's recover 
half your normal hit points. Well, that's good because I wasn't oh, down sorry, any. Sorry. You don't recover any hit points from a long rest. Well, and anytime you use your hit dice to heal, you only get half the benefit. Is that a normal thing of exhaustion? Just so I, or is this something else? You have sewer plague. Oh, all right, all right, all right, wait, wait. Let me, all right, stop. Then let me, let me note that down. Um, I'll put in my notes. So what, what does it do? You gain no hit points from long rests, and only awesome. half the normal number of hit points when you spend hit dice. If Bran heals you, if Merrick heals you, if Riley heals you, if you cast a healing spell, you will gain all of those hit points. Right, so um, it's, only, it's only the hit dice. Does she recover hit dice from a long rest? I mean, it didn't matter tonight. I mean, I wasn't down anything to recover, so... Yeah, no. So, sure I mean, and I'm, down, and I'm down... Two hit points from my total till further notice. Mm-hmm. All right, so rest only one half hit point. Oh, and Brand, give me a Constitution saving throw, please. Six. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I think uh, with that, as our party suffers more and more, uh, Merrick, give me a D4 while we're there. Three. Three. Okay. Yeah, while our uh, party is slowly uh, in coming to the horrible diseases and transformations and other terrible things that are <laughs> happening to them, uh, we will say goodnight and see you in two weeks' time. Oh, uh, so God. everybody wave at the camera, say good night. <laughs> this was Best awesome. Halloween ever, except for you, Riley. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do this time? <laughs> you didn't roll bad enough. Unfortunately, I never do. He wants to go. He wants the. He only rolls bad when he's cooking and navigating. That's- that's really where I should start getting him here. Who prepared yeah. your meal last night, guys? <coughs> I thought I might, you know. No, we let the cartographer do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's a halfling play. and he's out in the woods all the time. He's Cook probably like play. a master cook at, at the campfire. I was like, I, I am too. I mean, all right. Are we, all right so wait, we, we were waiting. I don't know if Frank we... caught the fact that we're cutting the show right now. Oh, okay. All right, bye, everybody.